All right, folks, how y'all doing today? Uh, we're down here in Peachland, North Carolina at Firewater Farms. Uh, just gonna do a little commentary today and tell you a little bit about us, how we uh, come about. And um, You've seen a few videos so far. Uh, that is the top sawyer of ours, uh, David, uh, my son. And uh, my name's Daniel Moore. And uh, how Firewater Farms got originated, uh, I'm fourth generation out here on this property. Uh, my great granddaddy uh, settled out here, decided to uh, become a farmer, farm this land, and uh, built a little two room shack. My grandmother was born in it. Um, when the depression hit, uh, prohibition, um, he was forced to do things that he wasn't so proud of just to make ends meet because grain uh, prices went down and uh, he kind of started doing a little bootlegging and uh, doing what he had to do just to make ends meet around here. And uh, that's how we come up with the name uh, Firewater Farms, uh, simply because he was doing what he had to do to make a living. And uh, of course, nowadays we don't do none of that. We just farm, uh, raise black Angus cattle, uh, goats, and uh, bought this sawmill back here in the background. And uh, we've been doing a little bit of sawing. So uh, a little bit of, about our sawmill. It's a Cook's AC 36. Uh, we decided to buy this thing. Uh, we looked around at new ones and uh, happened to run across this one. It was used. Uh, bought it out of Tennessee, a little town called Holenwald. I kid you not, Holenwald, Tennessee. Uh, drug this thing out of a mud hole, put it in service, and uh, uh, had to do a few repairs to it. But uh, it's got a 52 horsepower Perkins diesel on it that just loves to eat wood. Um, as far as sawmills go, you can't buy a better sawmill than this in our opinion this thing's built like a tank it's a four post mill it's got 28 inch solid wheels on it don't run no v belts on it uh inch and a half blade uh i mean this we ain't found a log that this thing won't handle now it does have a uh um, a maximum which will go through at 30 inches you can slab at 28 inches but uh overall um it is a beast of a sawmill uh now what we have on the mill today, you'll see on our upcoming videos, this is a black walnut. We're sawing for a customer. He's gonna do cabinets out of it. Uh, he just wants some wide boards out of it and uh, he's gonna do his thing from there. So uh, in the, the video you're watching, uh, we're milling up some uh, willow oak for a customer and uh, wasn't real sure about how it was gonna mill, but uh, turned out pretty well. Uh, it had some pretty grain on it. Uh, had some knots in it, we wasn't too, too happy about but uh as far as the overall what he's going to do with it he's going to put it in a horse barn it's going to turn out great y'all sit back y'all enjoy the video uh if you have any questions have any comments put it in the comment section and uh hopefully uh y'all will enjoy it <laughs> Swing my axe Don't let the flames go down Carve out some of that kindling There's plenty of wood around Coming soon, I will swing my axe. Don't let the flames go down. How about some of that kindling? Oh, there's plenty of wood around.
Jordan, Lord, and I'll keep heaven warm. 